What's up, YouTube? As always, this is PFC Ryutachi from the beautiful island of Okinawa, Japan. Here to bring you this Naruto anime tag video. Now, I'm sorry about that I wasn't necessarily officially tagged in the video. But Charles Anime World sent me an inbox and said that I've been tagged. So, obviously, I'm going to make this video. And this is my first ever tag video. So, I'm not going to lie. I'm decently pretty excited that he tagged me. So the first question was, who is my favorite character in Naruto? Now, obviously, looking at my name, Ryu Itachi, you may think that I would pick Itachi, but although he's one, he's up there. Sasuke is my favorite character for a few reasons. One, he's the secondary character. You know, the he's the rival, and that's why I don't necessarily go with Naruto because I feel like Naruto, although. He has a, you know, he has a pretty good, sad story. But I feel like he's the main character. So, power-ups and all that stuff, you know he's going to get because he's the main character. And he has to save the day. But Sasuke doesn't necessarily have to be strong. I mean, he was his rival in part one. And in part two, he could have died off easily. But he didn't. You know, he stayed his rival all up until now. And I, I know, as far as the tag video goes, he said, I can reveal anything from Naruto Part 1 and Shippuden. I don't know about manga, so I'm not going to say too much, just in case. But all the way up until now, the manga, he's competed with Naruto, and at some points, honestly, I feel like he was actually stronger than Naruto in certain points within Part 1 and Part 2. And so I say his character just, I like. I mean, even, I remember in high school, or middle school, actually, People not liking Sasuke, they call him emo and all that fun stuff. But I, I've always liked the Sasuke character, and, and just for the fact that he is the secondary slash rival character, and he's always been able to compete with Naruto, made me like him. And the second one is the favorite Hokage. Now, honestly, as far as Hokages go, I don't. I like them all, except for Tsunade, because I don't. I think Tsunade is a horrible Hokage, and she should not be Hokage. But I don't necessarily have a favorite out of them all. I would pick the first though, um, not necessarily because of his power. I mean, he's the god of Shinobi, minus Madara. But um, I just like his character. His character actually it does remind me of Naruto. Although technically it would be vice versa since he's older and he was alive before Naruto. Because he's that guy who's unbelievably, unimaginably strong. I mean, he was able to fight Madara in the Nine Tails, the full Nine Tails. And he was on par with that. But he's that guy, he's, he's that Goku. He's, un he's unimaginably strong, but at the same point, he's like, for lack of a better word, he's retarded. Like he jokes at the wrong time. He's 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 fun. He's funny. And like he's not serious. Like a lot of people with power, you know, they tend to get more serious and more power to have. But he's like top five strongest ninja in Naruto, probably top three. And he still retained his personality, you know? So that's why he's my favorite. And the third question is favorite fight. I would actually, there's a few, there's a lot of fights that I actually do like in Naruto. I think Naruto does have pretty good fights. And I hate to be cliche, but I would go with Naruto and Sasuke part one. Um, Not necessarily the whole fight. Like, I mean, the fight was good. It was about the violin the end and all that. It was good. But honestly, the ending, I liked it more than anything. Because it was... Supposedly, it was going to be the climax of everything, you know, their friendship and their, their hate of each other, the love for each other, you know, their emotions was in that fight. And when it ended, when it ended their, their final clash, and you seen the black orb come around them, but inside the orb, they, no matter, although Sasuke does a lot of bull crap, they still made the symbol that they're friends. Even though, even now, you know, Sasuke is still fighting to protect Naruto. And that's why I liked that fight. It was, the, I mean, like I said, the fight was good. You know, Sasuke got a little stronger in Naruto with his post intrigue mode. It was a good fight, but the ending, the ending was pretty nice. 
And the next question is favorite clan. Honestly, I, yeah, I would go with probably the Ochihas. Um, I mean, every all the clans are you know pretty neat because they're all they're all pretty different. You don't see much of their abilities in other series, but I mean, Chiha, I'm an Ochiha fan. You know, obviously my name is Yuutachi. I just I think especially with the recent um, information we got on how their power, um, I think I think it's brilliant. You know, like their power because everyone you know in anime and manga all the way up until now. They're treated as just horrible monsters. And we think that their power is derived from nothing but, you know, hate and anger. But we find out that pretty much their ultimate power is derived from how much they love life. And that's why they are so strong. Because they have such an intense love for life. And when it's disrupted, it infuriates them. And I, I like that. I think that's a pretty smart idea. So that's one of the own reasons why they're my favorite clan. And my favorite opening. Now, if you know me, or I really haven't read it too much, but I'm not a guy that really likes openings or endings. I don't watch that many openings or endings of any anime. But now until I have watched some openings and endings. And honestly, I probably, I can't give you a good a really sufficient answer. But my favorite opening is Fighting Dreamers. For the sole fact that I just like the song, although it's, it's a little annoying, but I like it. I like it. And I actually can sing it. I'm not going to sing it, but I can actually sing it, and that's that's why I like it. Like I said, I don't, I'm not a big opener in in person, so I can't really give you a sufficient answer like you need. And favorite moment, um, I have two favorite moments. I can't really say one over the other, but Itachi dying was pretty. Um, shocking and it got me. Itachi's my one of my favorite characters. He's not my favorite, but he's one of my favorite, obviously for my name. And you know, Sasuke has been wanting to kill him for years, and he finally does it. Although really, he only died because he was sick and he was going to die anyway. But finally, Sasuke, his whole life was meant for that moment, and he succeeded. And and you may think, okay, yeah, or everybody was thinking, all right, it's done, you know, his goal was met. And then it's a twist, it's a, it's a big twist, you know. He walks up to him, obviously he was protected from the curing with uh, Susano, and he walks up there, and on his dying breath, you know, he whispers in his ear, and he touches his forehead like he's always done, and he just falls down. You know, obviously with that touch, he implanted his manga kill. But with that, that, that last, that final moment of his, he lived as his older brother for the first time in years. That was pretty touching. And Neji dying, uh, spoiler alert, my bad, as far as mine going. Neji dying, a lot of people didn't, a lot of people hated it. But I liked it, because, I mean, one, it gave us that death that we all wanted. And just his message, obviously, to Naruto. Like, Neji, the prodigy, although he was from the bad side of the Hugas, but Neji, the prodigy, died for Naruto, who, the, the same guy who, in his past, everyone hated. and But he became a savior in this war. And although he not was going to rush to save her, he died to not only to save her, but to keep hope alive because Naruto is hope right now and he died to keep hope alive and finally after all these years he was released from his from his curse his his curse seal of hatred was finally released after all this time so I liked that and I thought it was pretty touching and the next question is favorite jutsu I'm my favorite jutsu I don't necessarily kind of like the opening. I don't necessarily have too much favorite moves, but I would say one of my favorite moves would be Kieran. I love Kieran. Just like the way it happened and what he said, you know, this jutsu is called Kieran. Be gone with the thunderclap. I don't know, something about that sentence. It just got me. And then seeing the freaking 
ginormous freaking electric dragon or thunder dragon just coming down and he pretty did it. he did it so effortlessly too like he just like created thunder and lightning and just like died and if it weren't for freaking Susano, obviously Itachi would die and even just the move itself how strong it is I mean if you to give you a little science lesson even if you miss, even if he so by some chance he missed lightning, although it's it's extremely fast, the surrounding area would be so hot that you would burn anyway. So I don't know. I just, I, just, I like the way they did it, and I like Sasuke's quotes. So that's one of my favorite jutsu at least. And my favorite death would actually, it actually would be like my favorite moment of Itachi in Neji dying. But honestly, my favorite death would probably be Jiraiya. Because, I mean, like, it was touching and all that. And I definitely wasn't expecting Jiraiya to die. But, he was, his was the first death that left you with suspense. Like, I mean, when Itachi died, it left you with suspense. And it, like, gave you that all tearing. When Neji died, it didn't really leave you with a suspense. I mean, he was dead. Yeah, it was pretty much it. He died. But when Jiraiya died, Asani and Jiraiya of all people, I, I would have preferred to not ache. But that's just me. When Jiraiya died, it's like, holy crap. And then finally, he, he died by his own student. And he's the one person that couldn't be saved because he died so long ago. Like, that was pretty, it was touching. And like I said, I love you with suspense because he's like, hey, I know who you are. And he wrote it down, and we find out a lot later. So I like I, I, his death was one of my favorites. And how did I get into Naruto? Oddly enough, I've never read manga that much until a year or two ago. But Naruto, actually, if you think about it, was the first manga I've ever read. And when, I'm talking about like legit manga. Like I was in elementary school, and when I went to elementary school. We had the school elastic journal, and it would come by like every it, it maybe twice a year. And I always liked that anime. You know, I grew up on Dragon Ball Z and Yu Hakusho, so they had this big check box of everything that you could get. And I bought a Shonen Shonen Jump. Not matter how much it cost or nothing. So I got Shonen Jump. And I'm like, hey, this kind of sucks because I didn't like reading manga. I'm like ten years old. And I don't want to read. But I look through, I look through it. I see, you know, I see Yusuke and um, I see Gohan. I'm like, hey, you know, I know these, I know these characters. And then I see Naruto. I'm like, you know, what the hell is this? And the chapter that I got was um, the beginning of Naruto, the Atlanta Waves. And I see this is when Naruto fought. Um, well, he didn't really fight, but the Demon Brothers and two other thugs that showed up later and what got me into it surprisingly enough I seen this it was one page and Naruto kicked the thugs and the way it was drawn my 10 year old brain didn't perceive it right but it looked like he kicked their heads off and I'm like holy crap I've never seen something like that and I didn't necessarily start start watching it because I mean I'm 10 years old internet went we had dial up back in those days so I didn't watch it and Shonen Jump for me only came out once or twice a year but I remembered it I always remembered it like it scarred me almost and I remember coming on Toonami like years later when I was in middle school and watching it and it was from that time that I really got hooked and oddly enough actually Naruto was pretty popular in my school I mean obviously everybody didn't watch it but the cool kids watched it so that made it cool for everybody so yeah I didn't know Naruto was actually pretty popular and I always stayed with it and then I found this beautiful thing called the internet and watched it online and I watched the, the Japanese subs that was my first Japanese sub anime I've ever watched and that's pretty much how I got into it and the last question of why do I like Naruto that's actually a pretty good question <laughs> I never really, I don't, you know, you don't really think too much, at least I don't, on why you like certain things. 
So honestly, this would be the first time we even if I went wild like Naruto. But I mean, for the basic reason, like most people, it inspires me for Japan. You know, I love Japan. And I've always, when I was little, I always wanted to come to Japan, and voila, now I'm here. But I mean, it's ninjas. You know, who don't like ninjas? That was that was why. It's part of the reason why I started was it was ninjas, and they were doing hand sales, and they were summoning fire. I mean, I, when I was a kid, I had a and the Shonen Jump I had, I had like a little hand seal page. And I, I'd go on Wikipedia and look up hand seals for stuff. And yeah, I was, I was pretty lame when I was a kid. But nonetheless, you know, that's, that's what, that was why I liked it then. And you know, as a kid, it's just cool to watch. And now that I'm older, the reason why I still read it, because I don't watch it anymore. The reason why I read it is, it's not a deep anime, but it is a pretty sophisticated anime and manga like you don't think about it but you know it, um, the Chia clan massacre that's some pretty messed up stuff I mean if parents knew that that happened a whole clan got what you know it was a genocide happened I'm pretty sure a lot of people a lot of kids wouldn't have watched it back in the day you know Naruto is actually for all its kitty, you know, things, it is quite a sophisticated shonen. And that's kind of why I like it. And the things that happen, like, like, like in my favorite moments, you know, Tachi, Neji dying, and the, the story behind their deaths. You know, and Tachi willing to go so far to, for his little brother to, to kill his clan for his little brother. I mean, that's, that's some pretty deep stuff and Neji being from the day he was born having a curse laid upon him you know showing that he was lower than the other half of his family Naruto being hated for something that he had no control of and all he wanted was a friend and that's why it's it's a pretty decent it was a touching story and that's why I like it you know and honestly it's entertaining I read it and review it because it's entertaining it's just fun to read I like reading it but those are more those are some of the more sophisticated reasons why I, I like it and last but not least uh, I don't know that many people I could tag for this video but I'm obviously definitely gonna tag game on cloud nine for this video because he likes Naruto a lot more than me and I think that's pretty much all I can really think of. So, until uh, maybe I think about some more later. But Game on Cloud Nine has officially been tagged by this guy. So I hope you like this video. It's actually quite a long video, one of my longest videos I've made. And I thank Charles Anime World for tagging me. Like I said, it's my first tag, so I kind of feel happy about that. So as always, this is PFC Ryu Tachi. This is my script on what I was talking about, and I'm signing out. Peace.